Hello there, what is up guys? My name is Gold Glove and I am back from uh, North Carolina. I went out and I played Gears of War Judgment. I did some play testing. Um, I gave some feedback. I was one of ten people. Um, I made a video before I left to kind of ask for uh, some suggestions, kind of like, um, you know, what should I look for? What do you guys kind of want to see me suggest uh, if it kind of corresponds with the game? So, uh, first off, I want to make this apparent. This event was not for media. It wasn't for new news. So, uh, nothing new for you guys, unfortunately, is going to come out of this event. But the good thing about this event uh, is the fact that I got to, and along with 10 other people or 9 other people, we got to give feedback on the game to make it better. And so, um, I can kind of give you guys a little bit of details about how we did that, what we did exactly. Um, but I can't, I can't give you guys any information about the game. I am under uh, an agreement where I, I, I can't talk about that kind of stuff. So, um, unfortunately, uh, you guys are not going to be hearing any news about the game. But the good, the good aspect of it is that um, I want to let you guys know that Epic is listening to us. They brought us out. They flew me out. Uh, you know, along with the other group of play, the other people, they they flew us out there, and. I'll be honest, at first I was like, okay, they're going to have us play our game, or play their game, they're going to have us give, you know, give them feedback, but are they actually going to listen to us? Are they actually going to take uh, into consideration what we have to offer? So, um, you know, at first I was a little skeptical about it, uh, but I went and literally like, so this is what we did. This is kind of how we did each day. So uh, I put about 30 plus hours into Gears of War Judgment multiplayer. Um, and basically each day we would play for about ten, 8 to 10 hours and then we would have uh, breakout meetings where they where we um, we would play for like 2 or 3 hours then we would go into a, a like a meeting room um, like a conference room and then we would discuss like maybe feedback or things that we had issues with or uh, problems or things that we liked or you know things like that so we would sit there and we would literally have conversations just about judgment multiplayer for hours and hours and hours and hours, right? We spent like nearly four days just talking about Gears of War Judgment, what we liked, what we disliked, and uh, so we got a lot of time on the game, we got a lot of feedback, and so this was kind of where I was like, holy shit, Epic is listening to us. So um, there was an issue with the game, I can't say specifically what it was, uh, but there was an issue with the game and we didn't really, we didn't like it. As a, as a group, we kind of came uh, to an agreement that we did not like this, we did not like what Epic had done, and so we said, you know, we think this needs to be fixed. And literally, probably an hour, maybe two hours later, boom, it was in the next build. They had already put it into the game. We started, you know, we started seeing those changes that we just suggested as a group just a little bit ago. And it was amazing to see that they took that, you know, they took criticism very, very well. Um, you know, if we had an issue with something, we said it. We were all very honest. Uh, and it, it, was, it was awesome. It was just awesome to see a developer kind of, uh, you know, listen to the community. You know, a lot of people think, oh, developers don't care about, you know, the community. They don't care about what people have to say. All they want to do is sell the game and stuff like that. Obviously, they want to sell the game. That's their job. But uh, they do listen to the community. They want people to enjoy their game. So um, Epic is, a sp I mean, I'm not familiar with other companies, but Epic really impressed me. I was super, it made me even happier to be there. Um, it was like a dream come true, to be honest, because like, Gears of War 1, has kind of been, uh, it was my bread and butter, right? Gears of War 1 is what started me out on YouTube. It's kind of the reason that I'm, I'm here right now is because I started making videos because of Gears of War 1, and that's what kind of led up to my opportunity to go all the way to North Carolina to visit Epic and, and be able to play Judgment and give my feedback and hopefully make the game better for you guys. So, like I said, this event was not for news. There was nothing like that. Um... I guess I can I can discuss one thing uh, in particular because I know I can I can talk about things that are already released, um, but I cannot present any new information to you guys. Um, so the control scheme, uh, I asked Quinn if I could actually talk about this. Quinn Quinn said I could talk about the control scheme. So a lot of people are worried about this new control scheme, um, kind of uh, that it's you know it's not the classic one, it's not Gears of War. Uh, but let me tell you guys, I actually hopped on Gears of War three yesterday uh, when I got back from my trip, and. I had been playing Gears of War Judgment so much that the old Gears of War control scheme felt awkward. It did. It felt awkward. I'll admit. Um, so it's like, and it, it's such a quick change. Like a lot of people were like, oh, we need a classic control scheme. No, you don't. No, you don't. Trust me. When you play the game, you're not going to want a, a classic control scheme. The control scheme works very well. You learn it very, very quickly because it's, it's a lot like other shooters. 
and uh, it's it's fantastic. So you're gonna it takes a little bit to get used to, not as long as you think. Um, it probably took me like three or four games to really get it down, but once I did, it was good to go. So um, other than that, I've just been hanging out. I, I uploaded some other videos today. Um, I wanted to just kind of talk about my trip, and again, thank you guys so much for. Uh, I mean, you guys are the reason that I that I got that opportunity is because you guys support me um, over here on the YouTube's. You guys are the reason that I could do that, and so I do appreciate it. I love you, and uh, hopefully, you know, some it'll more opportunities will come in the future that are that are a lot like this. That would be awesome. Uh, but other than that, I've been watching. Uh, what what is it? Um, what is it? Oh shit, shit! I don't know what it's called. The uh, the Halo Four live action thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Something I don't know. Anyway, I don't know the name of it. I'm I'm having a brain fart. You guys know what it's called. Anyways, it's awesome. It's on Machinima. I guess you can watch it. Even though I'm shot on I'm with IG. Anyway, go watch it. It's fun. It's awesome. Again, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys. To, or thank you everyone at Epic for allowing me to go uh, this week. Thank you to... Oh, it was awesome to meet all the people that I met. They were kind of in the group for feedback on the game. It was an amazing time. I had a lot of fun. And other than that, I'm going to put some annotations on the screen. Like right there. Maybe right there. I don't know. Somewhere around my head. Maybe just right here on this side. Here, let's do this. Here, let's do this. I'm going to be over here. There's going to be some videos over there. Over there. There's going to be some videos. Okay, I'm looking at the mirror behind me so I can... Anyways, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Bye.